just get some of this detail. Oh, hi. Um, it's Dick Ziggin. Uh, you know me, the permanently unelected mayor of Coney Island. I'm not in uniform because I got my job back. I'm not on unemployment anymore. I'm back at Coney Island, USA, hooray, getting paid at the moment to be the busboy for the freak bar. Um, the one program we have going is an outdoor sidewalk cafe. The freak bar has an outdoor sidewalk cafe. You know where we are. We're at Coney Island, USA, the not-for-profit arts organization uh, that puts on the Mermaid Parade, the Coney Island Museum. Um, please visit our website, ConeyIsland.com. There's incredible gifts, Mermaid Parade t-shirts, um, 2020 Mermaid Parade t-shirts, you can shop online, ConeyIsland.com at the gift shop. And did you know, have you registered yet for the 2020 Mermaid Parade? What? I thought it was canceled. No, it wasn't canceled. Saturday, August 29th, 2020, there's a virtual Mermaid Parade telethon. Check out this PSA. We're going to take a quick commercial. Look at this PSA by Sideshow Performer, Heather Holiday, and I'll be right back. Heather. So the Mermaid Parade is a telethon. Sounds like fun, but what the heck is a telethon? Visit ConeyIsland.com slash MP2020 to find out more. Oh, whoa, whoa. Visit ConeyIsland.com slash MP2020 to find out what we've got planned for August 29th. You know, this venue is called the Freak Bar. Um, in a normal season, a lot of the sideshow performers, the freaks themselves or the patrons and drink here, I wonder who's gonna show up today. Lean on the tables, wondering who's gonna show up. Hey, it's hey, Sage! Hey, I was hiding behind the Sovereign. Hi, love. So I haven't see seen you. you here since, what, last year? I know, well, we did Can I sit down? Have a seat, okay. let's social distance and uh, communicate. So what, for, you're here at the Freak Bar. Yeah, I'm here at the Freak Bar. You I know to we food. have food now? The Freak Bar has freak food. Well, I've been hearing through the grapevine the Freak Bar has some freaky food, and I wanted to try it because the menu looks so good. Uh, what did you order? I was, okay, I was torn between the Southwestern potato salad and the hummus. But I'm vegetarian, and I'm so happy that you guys have a vegetarian option, so I'm going to try the hummus. I love hummus. Yeah. I hear you're a bit of a hummus connoisseur. Bit of a hummus connoisseur. I am. I, I'm curious what the, the chefs have cooked up in the kitchen. Okay. So given that you're a hummus connoisseur, uh -huh. and can you believe it? Cody Island, USA has chefs in a kitchen? Right. Those are, that's a sentence I never expected to uh, speak in my life. Would right. you mind being a food reviewer and, I you know, I'm sorry to. we've got a camera in your face. That's okay. I don't mind eating on film and I love talking about food, so let's do this. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Where's Patrick? Yeah. What about food? So are... How are you doing this summer? Have you been traveling? Well, you know, um, considering the fact that we are in fact banned, from all of Europe, um, naturally my and European And we're not tour, performing in Coney Island. When are you doing with Coney this? Island. I've Other been working than on, looking fabulous. I just, yeah, I, I rode the train down here like this. You know, <laughs> with my mask on, of course. Um, 
I've been craving traveling, but you know, dealing with the uh, with the embassy, waiting for paperwork to come in to travel. But I've been enjoying. I mean, Coney Island Beach is open now. So, so you come wanted down to, to go to Iceland? Is that yeah. where you're headed? Yeah, I was actually gonna do a European tour starting in May, but that got canceled. Uh, so I was gonna start here in Coney Island, do a few shows, and then do a European tour and then Northern Africa, and then come back and um, back to the States and finish up my uh, finish up my summer here in Coney again. Um, but, you know, the universe has different plans, and we have to uh, roll with that. I've been enjoying the summer, though, overall. How about you? Um, I've spent, fortunately, I live at the beach, so That's I true. go to the beach a lot. More accessible to you. I'm all the way to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Um, and been doing home renovation projects. Nice. Um, paying very careful attention to my budget, so I paid off um, some money that I owed, and I've lost weight, so I'm doing okay. Yes, funny. okay. So COVID is treating you well. Yeah. Do you miss Coney, though? Do you miss? I'm in Coney. Show? I know I live in Coney, That's but true. I miss the performers, and I miss the audience, and I miss laughter right. and applause, and little kids screaming their heads uh -huh. off. Exactly. Kids seeing fire go in someone's face for the very first time. That's like. That's something you can't put a price on. So it's so fun. So it's nice that our doors are open. Uh, mm -hmm. Who knows who's going to drop by today? You're the one of the first Am cast the first members one? we've seen uh, in months and months. Amazing. So I get to take me and you out for a spin first before yeah. anyone else? Okay. Let me see if I can I'm get excited. your food going. Excited. That looks delicious. Some nice paprika here. Mmm. That looks really well, well, refreshing. So let's talk yeah. about the presentation. You're a restaurant reviewer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So Do you like the way it looks? The presentation is pretty. It's very beautiful. I feel like the uh the the vegetables all look very dewy. Are they very, vegetables like, you would want to eat? So let's see, I've got a carrot. Here. I do really like carrots. I like the colors. The Is colors that theme. paprika sprinkled on the top? Mm-hmm. Got some and paprika your sprinkled first on the taste. Mm -hmm. Get a close-up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our first our second taste. Second taste. I like a hummus that has the texture of the garbanzo beans and the chickpea or the chickpeas still present. And it this does. It does. So that, it does, it does. Wait, I'm gonna get a close up there. Mm-hmm. It has the um, yeah, the, the texture is still there, which I really, really love. The but carrots. just to be clear, you're not on payroll this month. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting paid zero dollars for this. $0. I'm getting paid in um, a meal <laughs> and friendship. <laughs> so, let mm. it flow. Delicious, delicious. Mmm. Good taste. So, one thing that I actually wanted to ask the chefs, and I'm very curious, and I'll ask them maybe later, but I wondered where these canned chickpeas or were they freshly like boiled and like stewed Should chickpeas? I bring out the chef? Yep, you, yeah, for <laughs> sure. For sure. It. But as I'm like mowing down on this now, I actually feel like these might be like freshly made garbanzo beans. Oh, well, that's exciting. And wait, wait, Hi. with proper introductions. Hello. Uh, say sovereign. Hi. Hi, Hi reader. Hello. Mark. Pleasure. And Mark, you Pleasure. are our chef. Yes, sir, I am. That's right. Mm -hmm. What did we say? We are reviewing. We're bringing in the freaks mm -hmm. who work in the freak show to come yeah. to the freak bar where you now have a menu of freak friendly food. Yes, we do. Very free friendly. There's a question about the hummus. Very free friendly, uh, indeed. And you like the hummus. I love the hummus. It's vegan. Mm -hmm. It's vegan. <laughs> it's, it it's has a lot of texture to it. Chickpeas and olive oil mm -hmm. and lemon juice and garlic mm -hmm. and a little salt. It's and so that's delicious. It. And a little and more paprika. oil and paprika on top. Mm -hmm. Just paprika, just for color. Just a little nice. spam. So good. And I, what, what I wanted to ask you was, mm -hmm. 
are the garbanzo beans like actually stewed or cooked down or no, is it they're soaked in water no they're, they're raw oh, okay yeah. amazing yeah. amazing yeah. you're happy yeah. with that mm -hmm. i'm happy i think that's really Talk really good to the vegans of the world mm -hmm. would so, they want to eat that vegans of the world uh, vegans and non-vegans alike there's so many people who like hummus if you want to come down to Coney Island and still want to be a part of the freak bar. We don't have the freak show happening, but we've got freak food happening. Um, as a longtime vegetarian, I one of my staples has always been hummus. And after talking to the chef, I'm learning that this these are in fact not canned garbanzo beans, but they've actually been cooked from dried garbanzo beans. So they're fresh, the hummus tastes fresh. Um, I'm really having enjoying enjoying uh, I'm really enjoying my meal and it's really beautiful to see the sidewalk cafe open at Coney Island. Hey, Come, maybe, maybe we should let her eat. <laughs> we should let you eat. We should let you go back. Yep. Thank you, Thank Chef. You. Thank, Thank you, you Sage. Mm -hmm. Enjoy Love the rest it. of your meal. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I wonder who else is going to come by today. Coming through, bus boy at work. I wonder who's going to come by today. Jennifer Miller! Hey! Hi, Dick! Hi! Oh, you can't oh, give me a oh, hug. Oh, but... it's beautiful to see Whoa. you. I'm going to give you a hug. Oh. Brooklyn Freak showing up at the Freak Bar eating freak food. Yes, what did you I'm order, dying. Jennifer oh, well, Miller? So far, I've only ordered the drink, which was a kiwi watermelon truly hard seltzer. Oh. And here it comes. Uh -huh. Are you going to get a sandwich? I'm going to get a sandwich. I'm excited by all the offerings. I'm going to get... You ready? I, I am. Okay, I would love the kettle fried turkey breast. Excellent with monster cheese. If I could, I bet it's really delicious with the apricot jam, but I can't be having that right now. Understood. So I'll just have it uh, with just the cheese. No mayo. You yeah. got Okay. That's it. Great. There's Very no good. mayo on the menu. There's no mayo. You're uh, just on... used to saying that anywhere you order a turkey sandwich. Or anything. Yes. I am. I don't love the mayo. Who does? I don't understand why they put the mayo on. I'm Ladies gonna, and gentlemen, it it's Jennifer Miller, the woman with the beard, the legendary sideshow performer, not only from the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, founder, artistic director of Circus Amok, professor at Pratt University, and director of that cult off-off-Broadway hit, Bloody Brains in the Jukebox, that was such a cult event to go to, you had to see it before it opened, and it was wonderful. We always want to be charming and delightful, you know, in a live feed, but you're, you're just breaking my heart with all of those things, and, and uh, and, uh, you know, I, I did, I worked here for so many years and still come back and forth. And, and uh, Dick yeah. is one of my oldest show business compatriots. I swear if one more sideshow performer drops by today, we could do we'll a do 10 a and show. 1. Except it's not allowed. How is your summer going? So are you comfortable with me taking the mask You're off? Gonna because we're eating, eating we're, six we're, feet. we're six feet away. So. I'm wearing my mask. My summer's up and down like everyone else's, baby. Have you been in Brooklyn? or? I've been in Brooklyn, but I'm up in Vermont where my partner lives. Okay. She's got a museum up there. She's a nurse. So I had to run and up there and help her. Did she have equipment in Vermont if they had the overcapacity problems? I was, just, I was just talking about how we've got to try to get some old uh campers or you know buses for when people need to come up when these fucking evictions are going to start next month you know i do want to make it available but i had to get back here for some queer sass uh and some coney island i had to come back where so do you find the queer sass um i find the you know i find that as soon as i come up here my own queer sass evolves 
Is just, that Brooklyn in general or Coney Island specifically? It's Brooklyn. Okay. It's Brooklyn in general. It's wandering the streets, seeing everybody, you know, seeing the amazing like so macrame I, art up there. I know you're an artist. You're a hardcore theater person. Yeah. You eat, drink, and sleep theater. Um, are you watching shows on TV? Are you writing a script? Well, I'm also a Gemini, you know, so I'm trying to, to work hard on my music and doing some dancing. I'm doing some dancing on Zoom with friends, thinking about writing a script, watching some stuff. Right, you emerged out of the dance community, yes. dance theater workshop. Yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. I did a show with Keith at Bindlestiff, which was great. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to know the kind of intimacy that we can get through Zoom, uh, which is the opposite of what we thought, and the connection to international and national audiences and collaborators, which we also didn't expect, and also the deep loneliness of, of not touching other bodies and not improvising with people. There you are. Oh my God. I'll let you take that. Thank you, my dear. You it can try and touch delicious. Patrick's body before. Anything, I have a shield. I gave him an elbow. Any, uh, any, anything else I can get for you right now? No, this is wonderful. Enjoy. Thank you, my dear. Great to see so, you. how is your beverage? Well, my beverage is delicious. It's refreshing. It brings to mind, you know, the beach and the bubbly. Did, did I pay delicious. you to make faces like that? No. <laughs> no, no. But I learned. I learned some of that at your institution. I just want to go, but before I get distracted with my bite. I just want to go back to what you were saying about our incredible Bloody Brains production yeah. and how wonderful it was to work on and how it I'm still was. thinking was. of those incredible actors and singers and the, their delivery and your funny script and how much and it, it was made me clicking laugh. with the audience. Oh, it was and going great. Three hours of incredible music it and it was great. just so much singing. It was going great. So theatrical. Oh, oh. And I got my fun because I got to direct it, and then I got to, you know, do one night of performing. Yes, you did. But the actors were waiting to see them live into their character. At least they got paid, and I'm proud of that. Good work. Kobe I do not want to be one of those productions that shut down and yeah. people like didn't get their final yeah. payments yeah. and like were freaking out yeah. about their bills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's they have common. to freak out now because their run employment doesn't right. have the extra 600 because evictions oh. are starting, but uh, at shame. least we got this far. Yeah. So, what do you like to eat generally? Do you eat a lot of turkey? I do love a turkey sandwich, and I am discriminating, but I will say... We want so, an honest opinion. I will Does be honest. this sucker is it... I haven't turkey? eaten it yet. Give me a break. I'll just say the presentation was great. The fabulous Patrick is waiting. It was wonderful. Pickles, which every turkey sandwich needs, and classic legs. So this was an unexpected treat. Here it goes. I love already the look because what do you call this with squish sandwich? Compressed. Compressed. Okay, Squished. here it goes. I like First the we, toaster marks. I on love the, the toaster. We start with the nose. I'm getting You're, sultry. Are you a harmonica player? I'm getting sultry. I'm getting sultry and salty. Like my life at the beach. Here we go. Oh. I'm loving the textures. The cheese, the melted cheese. And the crunch of the bread. I'm liking the way that all works together to kind of create a whole world. It's like a turkey sandwich. It's like... So like a turkey sandwich from the bodega where no, they take no, out no. the slicer and the oh, turkey no. roll? No. I'm talking about... I'm talking about... Being on the Amtrak in the Pullman car with oh. the bar car and I'm traveling across country I'm hanging out with a bunch of strangers, no masks on, and we're eating our turkey sandwiches, and Old we're watching school. the world go by. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting the beach, too, again. It's because the bread is so nice and salty. 
from getting from jumping in the waves with my friends. And then there's the whole turkey thing, which is like, get that fucking turkey out of office! I'm eating his demise right Benjamin here. Benjamin Franklin was a big turkey supporter. That's right. And he was not a slave owner as far as I know. No, um, they probably all had one. That was but everything. She's liking could, it. Could have been our national bird. Yep. Wouldn't have been able to eat it. The turkey? Mm-hmm. Did it's you try great. the chips? It's great, Patrick. No, I didn't try the chips yet. I'm going to now... No, no, no. You can't eat the pickle on film. Somebody else is reviewing the pickle. Oh, okay. But I know it would have been an incredible compliment to the turkey Or you sandwich. can eat it, but you can't say anything. Pickalicious. All okay. right. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, because I She's have to have it. going to make faces, I bet. Am I making too many faces? Well, with the pickle, thing? since I'm telling you, you can't comment on it. <laughs> it's a pickle preview. This is gonna stop by today. This is wonderful. How are you holding up? I've lost 12 pounds. Yay! I've been renovating my home and paying off uh, people that I owe money to. I'm all about self improvement. But I'm also, I got my job back. I'm the bus boy. I got a clean table. Thank you for coming by. My pleasure. Enjoy Classic. your turkey. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you. Who else and is going to come by? I'm going to finish, and then I'm going to put on my um, Coney Island mask, which you can get, uh, you can order at the Coney Island gift shop online, along with all kinds of other wonderful things. And I don't know why I'm hawking for these people, except they're dear to my heart. Boy coming through. <laughs> I just want to assure all of you that if you come to Coney Island and come to the freak bar, um, we are practicing social distancing. We are sanitizing. I am sanitizing bathrooms. Hey! Hi. It's Angelica Hello. Insectivora. <laughs> Excuse me, this table has a spot on it. So you must have heard that, uh, although there's no sideshow this summer, I'm so sorry. I know. Um, but the governor let us open a sidewalk cafe for the freak bar. Yay, are, are you going to order some freak food? Yes, because I heard we were opening the freak bar and serving food at an outdoor cafe. As you see, it's nice and clean, masks and all. I would love to try a freak. Ooh. You have to tell your uh, server. You thank you. Um, a grilled cheese uh, plate. Good Yay. call. Let me take that uh, for you. Can you believe that there's a menu and it's not just Slim Jims and popcorn? <laughs> I know. Oh, I do miss the popcorn. The popcorn is uh, good. But there's some good choices on the there menu. There is. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, since you dropped by and you're so well known to our followers, would you review your grilled cheese sandwich? I would love to. Okay, great. I'll let you know. But, um, so I performed all month of October for Six Flags Dairy and Lake. That was it. And then I, my last time here... One delicious grilled cheese. Yay! I'll let you take that. There you go. Wait, I grab this. Anything else you need right now? Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, the last time I performed here, I believe it was the both the, um... The Miss Coney Island pageant and the film festival. So I know you're one of the world's greatest sideshow performers, but right now you're a food critic. 
Ah, so, today. talk about the presentation, talk about the smell, talk about the first time. <laughs> Alright, well now I have to take my mask down. And that cost extra. So here, ooh, it's like the panini style where they like put it in a press. Really good. Oh wow, they wrap it really well as well. Ooh, it's got tomato inside. Mmm, wow. You're not on payroll, you don't have to lie. Is it a good grilled it cheese? It is a good grilled cheese. Oh, look at the cheese is just like, That's, that's, that's a good grilled cheese. Oh, I love it. It's like, ooh, Coney Island mukbang. Mmm. It's mm. dancing in your mouth or happy on the way to your mouth. It is. Oh, it's Don't so rip good. it out the back. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah. Good save. Mm. More cheese than you could take a stick out of that. <laughs> mm, look at all this. Mm. <laughs> That's a good grilled cheese. So it's worth I it. I recommend if you're hungry and you're down here in Coney, come visit the Freak Bar and get yourself a grilled cheese. Well, I'm going to get out of your way and let you actually eat. We'll take the camera away from your face. Um, it's so good to see you and it's so good to have your comments on our menu. Who else is going to come by today? Bus boy coming through. Oh man. I was unemployed for four months, just got my job back. I don't want to go back on unemployment. I'm going to do a good job. Hey, Keith. Hey, Dick. Nice uh, to see you. Let me here. get this oh, table. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Uh, did, did you order food yet? Not yet. Only a drink so okay. far. Okay. What are you drinking? I, I, um, I got the Coney Island IPA. So who told you that uh, we're serving food now? I, um, I kind of heard through the grapevine, and Jennifer Miller lived in the building, and she was talking about it, and just got really excited by the fact that you guys were open. If I knew so much talent was dropping by today, we could put on a 10 in one sideshow, but not with any audience. Who needs an audience? <laughs> thinking about food today? I am thinking about food. I'm, I'm going to try the ham and smith. Uh, it's a good call. We just added that this week. Perfect. I think you'll enjoy it. Be right Thank back you. with that. Oh, you're going to be the first one. Hey, uh, can I ask you a favor? Oh, sure. Okay, we're sh obviously shooting a video today. I see that. About uh, the free food at the free bar. And who better to be our restaurant reviewers than sideshow performers? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Kinko McLeod of the Bindlestiff Family Circus. Um, they do have a long history here. Uh, normally twice a year, they bring uh, the stars of tomorrow, kids who've learned circus arts in classes at the Bindlestiff for what a graduation showcase is it work. Yeah, youth from all over. It's probably your youngest stage show here for, during the and year. And it's always packed, and the packed families and audience. love and, it. I mean, I'm missing uh, it um, I'm this missing spring. It, yeah. And then the Unicycle Festival, which should have been rolling in here in a couple weeks. And you're usually in Manhattan doing shows in I'm a usually couple working. of different I mean, right venues. now it's, what, a, yeah. um, we're looking at, what, 12 to 18 month early retirement period? Something like that? Um, not, so, not much sword swallowing these days. Uh, and, and so what have you been watching television? Have you been I'm, walking the streets of Brooklyn, ordering ham sandwiches? I've been doing, riding unicycle and been doing um, live online entertainment. 
Uh -huh. I mean, I gotta be performing and making set lists, otherwise they go a little crazy. So, so although this is uh, infomercial for Coney Island USA, briefly, how would people find the shows online that the Bindle Smiths are doing? Um, Bindle Smiths Open Stage Variety Show is a weekly, it's every Monday. We're kind of doing a season one highlights right now for um, during August, but in September we kick in first Monday in September onward with live entertainment on both Bindle Stiff's um, YouTube and Facebook pages. So go to Bindle Stiff Family Circus, you find it there, kick back at 7.30 or 8 o'clock and you get an hour or two of many of the same performers from here. We, um, Adam Realman was in the show a few weeks ago, Jennifer Miller's been in the show. As always, there's a lot of you know crossover so between our artists. Can I share with you one of my fears of the pandemic? I'm afraid of virtuoso vaudeville and sideshow performers like yourself not having the venues, not practicing, and losing skills. I've never told you before, I grew up on the Ed Sullivan Show, and out of the many, many things you do, I love plate spinning. Oh, it's my favorite. Do I... you have to practice? Can you still plate spin? I did a nine-year-old Zoom birthday party yesterday that included the plate spinning. I'm so, so happy to hear that. I mean, it's not because I don't want that plate to come crashing to the ground. I, a few of them usually do, but you no, know, not when you do. Oh, well, every now and then. Never on the Ed Sullivan show. Uh, it depends which form of spinning. There was one guy who all was all just about breaking them. I don't know if he ever got them all spinning. Did Ed bring them back? Was he a comic? He came back a couple times, yeah. Okay. But you know, not as good as Kumar, who was my favorite of the plate spinners on Ed. Uh, that's such a great act. Thank Classic. you. Um, how are the plates here? Can um, I check them out? <laughs> gen generally paper plates. Oh, I don't think those well. work as well. Can you balance a paper plate? I'm off the clock. I just came here for a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> um, which isn't coming yet. It looks like this is a real sidewalk cafe and people are actually ordering things. Who knew? There's people here that I don't know. Beautiful, Dick. Yeah, uh, back and open. we're not open on the inside, but this is like having, building a moat around the castle. Uh, you get to have a draw bridge, make people request permission to enter. Exactly. Um, this is sort of fun. Put the velvet red rope up. Maybe not velvet, but it is red. You have more people than I have. Um, Except, uh, how many of them are sideshow performers? None. Oh, who came here there. for this video? Not a one. Not a one. Um, I was on furlough for four months. I'm so happy to be back on payroll, have my job back. And I'll volunteer even for cleaning the toilet. I was impressed to see you cleaning the tables coming in. Yeah. I mean, somebody had to. Somebody has to, you yeah. know. And Patrick's busy handling food. Yeah, he's handling the food. I'm cleaning the toilets. Uh, <laughs> we got to keep expenses down. Exactly. Hey, here it comes. Hey, sir. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Take that. Delicious. Very good. Enjoy. You didn't eat it yet, yeah. don't. I, I said it looked paint. delicious. Okay. I didn't so, say it was delicious. Okay, so you said, said it looked delicious. Be a food critic. Talk about presentation. Presentation, it comes, it, first of all, it's making someone smile right on the top. Nice message before I even open anything or bite How anything. How does it smell? That's hard to tell because I got multiple layers of fabric separating me and my nose, but it smells all right. It smells all right. We're getting somewhere. We're, I mean, the, okay. the big thing. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be enough mustard on this, you know, all of those sorts of How things. How do you but like your ham sandwich? I, I like my condiments. Condiments. You know, but I, I like to also try the do first time. Do you see condiments? I don't, um... What are you looking for? Mustard? I'm, I, I, like, I like my spicy mustard. Are you a mayonnaise guy? Oh, one? no, I'm a mustard person. Love my mustard on everything. 
I like the little grill lines. Looks fancy. Yeah. Makes it like this up to just that much more. It's very high end for Coney Island it's with the grill lines. Not just high end for Coney Island, but really high end. Coney for Island, the I'd expect three grill lines, not exactly. Both of them. I mean, look at that per grill line. It, that when you buy sheets, isn't it all about the finer sheets of the higher more thread? Count? Yeah, this is the high thread count piece of bread you got. But now comes the big moment. Big moment. I'll shut up. Oh, and there's a pickle. This okay. is, somebody else is going to review the pickle. I have to say, this is by far the best ham and cheese sandwich I've ever had at the Coney Island Creek Show in my life. We never served them before tonight. Like I said, this <laughs> is by far the most delicious ham sandwich I've ever had at the Coney Island Creek Show. Does that mean he show. likes it, or is he just very clever at how he ordered it? The fact that I went ahead and had a second bite okay. is always a good sign. That is a good sign. Now I'm on the total. And I have a feeling that by the end of this, everything will be gone, except maybe the bag that says make someone smile. You haven't washed it down with a big swig of beer. So you're enjoying your sandwich? I'm enjoying my sandwich. I'm enjoying your company. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's seldom that we both get to sit down. One of us is but I'm, I'm working. working. I got to oh, clean you are tables. Uh, we'll take the camera out of your face and let you finish eating. Okay. How was everything, sir? Delicious. Excellent. Well, thank you, sir. Can you believe this? Look at that. The Freak Bar. The Freak Bar has food, folks. Can you believe this? It's amazing. There's shade on both sides. We're right outside of the Freak Bar. Unfortunately, we don't have the sideshow going. I wish I was working, but it looks like I'm going to get a beer and some chips and some salsa. Hey, I got my job back. I'm working as a bus boy. Hey, Sigan, what are you doing cleaning the tables out here at the Freak Bar? Because the I'm not on unemployment anymore. Somebody has to do it. The mayor of Coney Island is cleaning the tables out here in the free Patrick bar. Patrick serving the food. I'm cleaning the bathrooms. <laughs> hey, it's the Texas Talker. Do you know how many sideshow people just drop by today to order food? Well, this is our home. Right? Oh, look at this, folks. Six dollar beer right here. It does not um, get any better than did this. Did you decide what to order on the menu? You know what? Between you and me being from Texas. Yeah, you're from Texas. I gotta try the salsa. Hey. Um, I gotta try the salsa, I gotta try the chips, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna I ask be critical. You a favor? Um so we just opened this, we're trying to spread the word about the food. Um, since some sideshow performers just happened to drop by today, uh, would you mind reviewing the salsa for our followers? Oh yeah, totally. And, uh, I, I fully expect to. I'm gonna give an honest opinion. It's like I'm from Texas and I uh, grew up with jalapenos for breakfast. Yeah. I do like the heat, but it's not about just the heat. It is about the actual flavor. That's what people don't understand. We're not just showing off when we say we can eat peppers and eat hot food in Texas. It is about the flavor. So there's good hot and there's not so good hot. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Like if it's just hot you to want show off. Flavorful. I want flavor, but I want heat. I like my head to sweat. That means it's good. Meanwhile, <laughs> while we're waiting, Cheers, uh, how's your summer going? You have normally you're working outside at the sideshow. It's been strange adapting to not being able to work at the sideshow. I love this place. I love this job. I feel like the luckiest Texan on earth to be working right here in Coney Island in the summer. Uh, I also produce music of curiosities and we have our first show coming up on August 20th. So you got to watch this show. It's going to be trend setting. It's going to be magnificent and it's going to be a throwback to the old mtv remember when you used to watch videos or not watch them but you would just hang out and have the music going you could hear it you could see it so we're excited we're not getting to do live shows with people in the theater but we're still presenting artists from all over we focus on going to become monthly i certainly hope so because we got a great response like 
the advantage is, is getting bands to send in videos and they don't have to come all the way out from like North Philly or they don't gonna come all the way from the Bronx to perform. So they get to send in a video. We get to expose them to the crowd here in Coney so Island. So it's not live, but in some ways it's better quality. It's, it's or a, more yeah, choices. It's a lot like good. MTV, except you're not going to be having your famous, you know, we're not going to turn away Lady Gaga if she wants to send us something, but she ain't gonna. <laughs> Lady Gaga has been here. Don't kid yourself. No, I know that. I know that. And actually, you know, you never know. Like, you never know what Patrick Wall can make happen. <laughs> or you. Patrick Wall, make it happen. Tom, wait. It's, it's happening. Okay. Sometimes the magic takes a minute. You just hold this right. The magic is forming there. together into the perfect sandwich. For, oh, exactly, for you. exactly. Which, which would be? Well, actually, what we're going to get here, Oklahoma, is we're going to get some salsa. Mm. I want to taste the chips and salsa. salsa you want the plantain sandwich? chips and salsa. You, you know what? I just got to taste the chips and the salsa because i that's what I want. That's how you our need meals extra start. Salsa? Well, I don't know if I want extra yet. I want to taste it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll grab your menu there. I'm going to go put that right in. And again, folks, this menu is amazing. Like the, all these Can food options under $10. How many years have you worked here? Oh my God, it's going on four or five years. And in the past, you'd be lucky if we had Slim Jims or popcorn. Oh, we get very good popcorn. Jamie okay. does make some of the best popcorn. But there was never any real food. <laughs> no, there was never food, you know. It's like, and it's never, amazing. Never, ever. And the other thing, too, is like going around, like your options. Like people are used to considering the freak bar as a dining place. But if you really walk around here, you don't got to wait in line. You have beautiful shade on both sides. You're in one of the, outside of one of the and most historical. And what kind of people are reading here today? Look at all the people we got here. It's a historical building. And it's just beautiful to be back out in Coney. And if you're here and you took the subway trip out, you're always looking for bang for the buck. I know we all lost our pandemic assistance money. All the food here is under 10 bucks, folks. You can actually get full, get fed, and you don't have to, under 10 bucks. Where do you see that in New York? You couldn't get that anywhere else around, but right how did, here. How did Patrick pull all this off? You know, I, we got a good group of folks in there. We got Joe, we got Jorge in there working. Okay, so you know the I chef. know those folks. Tell, I know tell those me folks. about the chef, Joe. They are uh, some of the finest caterers that I have worked with. and. Uh, so um, I hear he did a couple of events here. Also, uh, Boots Foods is his company, and they provided catering for Music of Curiosity shows last season when we were doing them live. And uh, they're just amazing uh, folks all together in the sense of knowing how to run a kitchen, how to run an event. They're some of the best people I've ever worked with. And uh, connecting them here with Patrick. And Joe loves Moods Foods. Joe loves Coney Island. He has come out here and contributed food to us multiple times just because he loves it. You, I don't got to tell you, you're part of the so history here. This is Joe historical. Joe is high end. Uh, when you work for, for private parties, what kind of venues does he work in Manhattan? Oh, I mean, we're all over. Like, if you remember the Don't last... impress me. Where did you work? Remember last time we worked with them at the Henson House. But I tell you, through my career of catering, I have worked... I did the sanitation for Martha Stewart's stables. That was amazing. She was serving food, and that's the place. Now, let me and tell you, Martha Stewart Martha had marble Stewart floor in her... Stable? Her horse stables. <laughs> And uh, I did uh, do floor captain years and years ago for an event Ivanka Trump was running. <laughs> and uh, I think she was a little bit nicer than her father. Cheers did she on like Joe's food? You know what? I didn't get to talk to them about the food. I do know that Martha Stewart gave me a thumbs up, and that meant that I had kept her horse stable marble floor from getting messed up, and that it was my job. It means that the food was delicious. Here yeah, it comes. Exactly. Okay. It's uh, look at this. Now. What do we got here? All right now. So just to be clear, you're not Thank on you. payroll this summer. We're not paying you, right? No, uh, it's like I'm not getting paid to do this, and I'm not, unfortunately. And you're from Texas, and you run your mouth, right? I run my mouth. I'm a talker. I will think the. I, I'm happy that I live in the great state of New York, and. Uh, because of the current situation, uh, you know, our elected officials have yeah. have helped us. Yeah, forget the politics. But this I'm just saying, I'm not getting yeah. paid 
okay. to do this right now. But do it. Do so it. look here, folks. Now these are not the kind of normal chip that you get in Texas. This is a, is a plantain. Plantain chip. chip. Is that weird or is it okay? It's not a corn chip. It's different. It reminds me of like Cuban. All right, let's see here. This is the salsa that we're. That actually that looks pretty. That looks pretty damn good. Yeah. That looks pretty. There's damn a lot good. in there. There's a lot in there. Well, I think Joe knows I like salsa. Remember, he's from Texas. Is it hot? Is it flavorful? There is flavor. All right, wait a second. Look over there. Look, 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 look. You guys looking over there? Look over there. I guess if you're from Texas, and I didn't bring salsa. this from Mexico. Let's see. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> Look at that. So? Oh, that is some damn good salsa. And it's working with the plantain? I don't even miss the corn chips, honestly. And I have a feeling that, I don't know, I'm not a, a food scientist, but these are baked. So I think these are probably a little more healthy than the natural corn chip that like, has a lot of salt. So I'm, 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 I'm being converted right here in front of you as a Texan so to eat a plantain. we not only have food, we have healthy food? Is that what you're telling me? It's actually a healthy food option. That you could come to the fruit bar and eat healthy. Oh. This salsa is so, so good. Now I can't believe you're eating it. Then we should leave the man to his food. We'll get out of your face. Enjoy your meal. Cheers, folks. Coney Good Island. Good seeing you, Tex. Good seeing you, too. Love y'all. Yeah, I got to do my job. Excuse me, sir. I got to get this ready. Yeah, it's hard work. But we've been busy today. It's like the people have been coming. There's a... Hey, Adam Rin. Hi. Hey. Let me get your table. Thanks. Mind if I sit? No, please. Go ahead. There you go, sir. Thanks, Patrick. Hey, folks. Uh, Adam Realman, the dean of Coney Island USA Slideshow School. Um, artistic associate who works alongside me uh booking the shows finding the talent of tomorrow and uh it's weird we just opened this sidewalk cafe uh we're spreading the word and maybe it's not weird but it looks like the initial group of people showing up to eat like yourself are sideshow performers well, so I guess it's a friendly place for sideshow people to hang out and drink, but now there's food. So far, you know, we like to support Coney Island USA and all that it does, and especially now that, uh, you know, things are sort of on the on the weird end of the spectrum, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to some of this uh, food. Hey, can, can you help me out? Uh, obviously, we're shooting a film today. And if you don't mind being playing the part of a food reviewer, I bet that you, Mr. I grew up in Long Island. No, I grew up in Coney Island. Coney Island. Okay. I sleep and pay taxes on okay. Long Island. So between Coney Island, Brooklyn, Long Island, I bet you are an expert on Jewish style delis. Absolutely. For instance, uh, Carnegie Deli, Katz's Deli, Second Avenue. What well, deli? Uh, you're, you're, you're going. You're going Manhattan Deli. Okay. So talk to there me. There were delis. a stack of delis right in Brooklyn that were amazing. You had just on Brighton Beach Avenue, Lulu's, which was right off Ocean Parkway. You had Zymar, which was a little farther down, closer to Coney Island Avenue. 
I didn't grow up in Brooklyn, but I know I'm in a real kosher style deli. When you sit down before you order your food, they put down coleslaw, potato salad, and pickles on the table. The sours. So you're discerning. You can tell a good pickle from a bad pickle. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like we have an order. I'll be right back with that, sir. Would you honor us and give a, us a serious review of the potato salad, coleslaw, and pickles now being served at the free car? Sounds good. Are you doing pickled tomatoes too? Or? Let's see what. Oh, look at this. Brings you. Wow. I'll let you take those for safety. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. All right. Extra fork if you want to play with your palate. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Enjoy. All right. So, be a mensch, be a meshuganah. But we want to know what you really think. All right. So, first thing, we got a Purell again because you can never have too much Purell in this situation. Then the mask comes off. And I'm um, in the proper distance. Good. Yeah. All right, wow. We Good. have gone through little... all of the sandwiches, but sometimes you make or break a meal with the side dish. All right, so we're gonna try the coleslaw first. He's eating a second for a This is perfect deli coleslaw. Has it been in the refrigerator for two weeks? No, it's very fresh. Right. Very peppery, which is excellent. Not, not, it's not overly salty. You know is, your coleslaw. Yeah, yeah. Now this is this is rock solid. This, like I said, it's got a good crunch, which tells me that it's fresh. The peppery comeback is perfect. So we must have lucked out with the coleslaw and the potato salad, probably. I don't know about the potato salad yet, okay. but the coleslaw is aces. Put that here. Potato salad. How's the presentation? Does it look good? It looks good. Does it smell good? I think I had too much, too much uh, lemon and uh, peppermint oil in my in my mask. I can't. You, you can't tell, but I, personally, I shaved today. I knew there'd be a video. I, 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 you, I, you chose not to. I shave can't tell me. the the nose on the potato salad is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not getting anything right now. All right, let's see what we got here. That's good. That's good. Once again, it's going to come down to whether or not it's, it's a store blood pickle. Then everything so far seems we'll, to be good. We will get to the pickle, but right now we got to take another taste of the potato salad. Very fresh, nice peppery flavor, which is good. Not overly salty so far. And it's, it's got, I, I can't tell what the greens are. I'm not. Is it glitter, leftover glitter from, glitter from the our last show? Or? I can't tell what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but it's. Chives? It's, it could be. Chives. But it's not overly chivey, so to speak. Should, should, let's bring out the cook. Keep eating. All right. Good. No, very, very, so um, we've asked the chef to come out because Adam Real Man has spotted flecks of green things in the potato salad, and he has questions. We have several green things, but it basically would be jalapenos. Did we get a close -up? And cilantro. Jalapeno, so it was cilantro that I was tasting, mm -hmm. and the jalapeno has that peppery flavor. Yeah, it's jalapeno, you gotta uh, get a bite from it. No, no, so, I yeah. both the, the coleslaw yeah. and the potato salad right. have it. That's why we just put that Southwestern stamp on it. It's terrific. Just jazzing it up a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but you got your basic like this basic mayonnaise, or just a touch of uh, of uh, mustard. But it's that uh, chopped fresh jalapenos yeah. and cilantro, jazzes it up a little. A little, a uh, tiny bit of lime too. Right on. No, the, the pep is, is what really gets it. Mm -hmm. You know that that spice. It's got a nice kick to it. 
but not too much. We don't want to stir it. Not, not too much, but it's like terrific. For the I, I guess, yes. Let's okay, so we've had six restaurant reviewers. Mm -hmm. You've gotten high marks on everything. It's all coming down to the pickle. It all comes down to the pickle. Here we go. No, it's not a blasic disclaimer. Does the pickle seal the <laughs> stomach like cheese supposedly does? Is uh, that yes, the yes. last thing you should eat? Yes. Or the first thing when you get your sandwich? No, it's the last thing. The, the, the vinegar helps break it, everything down. So it's it's a bread and butter pickle. It's not a not a garlic pickle. Right. Uh, you know, not not it's not a kosher deli pickle. But it's got good crunch. Okay. Flavorful with a fluorescent uh, juice right down there. So the fluorescent juice may very well have come from a burlesque show. We're not sure yet. But not a pickle is aces. Um, I mean, you're not curing your own pickles, are you? No. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, that said, I just think that I chose, that I chose the right pickle for the right place here. No. A, a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. A hundred percent. Cool. A hundred percent. Cool. Um, this is spot on. Chef, cool. I'd yep. say congratulations. Uh, we have had the world's best sideshow performers come to the freak bar to taste the freak food with their freak taste buds and you've gotten high marks. I'm very happy. So we want you to come down. We are likely to be open serving this man's delicious food and drinks Saturdays and Sundays, noon to six, maybe into October. And I think that wraps up uh, my State of Coney Island speech for this week. Um, but just because it's a really good video, can we please see Heather Holiday one more time talking about the Mermaid Parade? Take it away, Heather. See you next week. like a post-apocalyptic summer to really bring out the good in people. This year, the Mermaid Parade is marching for charity. Learn more at ConeyAllen.com slash MP2020.